Beautiful deep divers, another beautiful day. I hope you're taking care of yourself. Look, can you hear that? The sound of Gaia. There's no place I'd rather be. Say it with me, deep divers. There's no place I'd rather be than with the birds, bees, leaves, and trees. It is marvelous out here. We got butterflies floating around. We got the cat down the road saying it loves you. Look, deep divers five things you've been doing wrong <gasps> five everyday things you've been doing wrong your entire life and nobody told you don't worry ralph smart is about to tell you and this has really helped me become my greatest version deep divers what if i told you there are things you're doing every single day which are totally wrong and there's another way to do it are you ready to find out that way well we got a whole lot to talk about this video is gonna rock you out of your chair. You're gonna raise your eyebrows like the rock. But first, let's breathe. Let's go deep divers. That was amazing. Let's go deep divers. Woo! Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. What are we doing? Raising the frequency. I sure hope you're raising the vibration. Take that, take that, take that. Good ass energy I'm sending you, deep divers. Peace. Infinite waters diving deep once again. Beautiful deep divers. We are out here in the heart of nature doing a little samba, baby. Look, look at me right now, deep divers. Look at me right now, deep divers in the eyes like I'm FaceTiming you. If you are watching this video, this is your confirmation that your breakthrough is near. I want you to hold on that little bit longer. Keep pushing forward, it's gonna happen for you. If you're ready, just say thank you. Look, I want everybody to hit that like button right now and share this video. Smash that like button right now, deep divers, and share this video because somebody out there needs to see this because someone out there has been doing it wrong. Deep divers, five everyday things you've been doing wrong your entire life and nobody told you. Don't worry, Ralph Smart is about to help you out. Look, there are things we all do every single day in our daily routine, which we think is right, which is actually wrong. And it's only when you actually go down the rabbit hole to say, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I've been doing it wrong. I thought I was doing it right. No, I've been doing it wrong. Now your eyes open to a whole new reality, a whole new world like, oh my gosh, why didn't someone tell me this? Well, I'm going to help you out, deep divers. Are you ready? Are you ready? And we ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello? <laughs> Much love to all of you deep divers. I hope you're taking care of yourself. Look, five everyday things you've been doing wrong your entire life and nobody told you well i'm gonna help you out deep divers become your greatest version so i'm skating and i meet a good friend who lives around the corner and she tells me that hey ralph you've been doing it wrong i'm like oh my gosh oh my gosh <laughs> tell me how to do it right then right <laughs> so let's dive deep deep divers because you see when you remind yourself there is no change in your life without a change in your daily routine. And that change is all about doing it right instead of doing it wrong. So what is the first everyday thing you've been doing wrong? Deep divers, listen to this. Going to the toilet. You've been doing it wrong. In fact, most of the world has been doing it wrong. Because most people sit on the toilet. Well, that's right, Ralph. No, it's wrong. Let me explain, deep divers. Let me break down the science, okay? Biology class time. Look, when you sit on the toilet at a 90 degree angle, what is happening? Your puborectalis muscle is contracting, okay? And that's why a lot of people get constipation. 
That's why they get hemorrhoids because that's actually the wrong way to go to the toilet. Sitting on the toilet creates more problems for your bowels, your intestines, because we're not actually designed to sit on the toilet. If you notice, deep divers, the universe didn't make toilets. It's just human beings said one day, hey, let's go to the toilet and sit on the toilet. Well, that's the wrong way, deep divers. So what's the right way then? It's actually squatting. Squatting, I know, right? Squatting, you're not supposed to be sitting on the toilet. You're supposed to be squatting at a 35 degree angle. When you do this, the puborectalis muscle opens up fully, okay? It relaxes fully. So all of that waste can be eliminated fully. No constipation, no hemorrhoids. It's beautiful. So instead of sitting at 90 degrees by a stool to stool, no pun intended, and sit, a, sit at a 35 degree angle, and I guarantee you, Everything is going to come in and, the, and, and, then, and then go right back out. It's going to come in and then go right back out. That's the way we're supposed to be going to the toilet. Squatting. The anorectal angle. Okay, when you are sitting, it's out of kink. Okay, and you want it to be straight. And that can only happen when you're squatting. So we are designed to go to the toilet and actually squat. You can only do this when you buy a stool so you're elevated at a 35 degree angle. You see, deep divers, this is gonna help you become your greatest version because it's gonna help your digestion. A lot of people are sick and ill because they're sitting on the toilet 24 seven. Even the cat down the road said, start squatting. Start squatting, deep divers. <laughs> now, the second everyday thing you've been doing wrong your entire life and nobody told you, well, don't worry, Ralph Smart is about to help you out. So that story I started with, I was skating actually today, a friend said, who lives around the corner, Ralph, you've been doing it wrong. Doing what wrong? Drinking water wrong, huh? I told her, hey, sometimes I drink bottled spring water avian and all of these things and she's like no ralph you've been doing it wrong i'm like what well let me explain deep divers first of all you aren't supposed to be drinking tap water that's first and foremost if you are drinking water out of a tap a lot of the tap water contains fluoride why is this dangerous because it actually calcifies your pineal gland which is the seat of the soul which regulates the melatonin level in your body we are not supposed to be drinking tap water because before it can get to your sink, it has to pass through all of those pipes which are full of bacteria and all of that junk. So don't drink tap water, okay? That's out of the way. But what about bottled water, right? Bottled water, Avian, okay? You got other brands like that. A lot of people think, oh, that's good. But she just said, Ralph, you've been doing it wrong, you see. We are supposed to be drinking water from the source. Let me explain. Let me explain. Okay. First and foremost, tap water is acidic. Bottled water can be pH 7, which is good. Like avian is 7.6. 7 7.6, that's good. But you see, the problem with bottled water, which he explained to me, is that, you see, after four days, a water leaves the source. It is dead. It is dead water. So you're drinking dead water. Why? Something called the ORP. Let's get scientific and nerdy, deep divers. Put on your glasses. Look, the ORP means the oxidative reduction potential. So, for example, you have Kangen water, okay? Kangen water is extremely healthy. The reason why is because not only is it... A, not only is it a high pH of like 10, 8.5 and above, right? But also it has a minus ORP. Why is this important? Have you ever heard of that? The ORP, oxidative reduction potential? It is minus 745 in Kangen water and other alkaline ionized water. A lot of bottled water, in fact, most of... <laughs> <laughs> all of bottled water is a plus 400 ORP, positive, okay? 
tap water is between 200 plus and 600 MV, ORP. So in other words, it is oxidizing the body. Kangen water, alkaline water, that alkaline water is actually an antioxidant. Okay, this is very important. So it's so healthy to restore the body back to its wellness and health, okay? It's also packed full of hydrogen. It is hydrogen rich, okay? This is important because we have to be drinking water which is hydrogen rich, okay? It has the, the molecule hydrogen and this actually is an antioxidant Okay, so all of these things I didn't know about like back in the day, now I do. And I'm always reminding myself that actually, if you wanna do it right, Ralph, drink water from the source. Now I know a lot of people don't live near a mountain or a flowing stream, but you can buy a Kangen machine. That even rhymes, right? And now the water is alkaline, but also it has a minus ORP, oxidative, reduction potential. When you're drinking a lot of water, which is acidic, tap water, bottled water, uh, 400 plus ORP, it's positive. What that actually does is it increases that oxidative stress in the body and it's harder to eliminate free radicals. On the other hand, Kangen water, high pH, minus 745 on the ORP, oxidative reduction potential, can actually remove the free radicals. Mm. What? Slow motion this side. Mm. Oh yeah, deep divers, become your greatest version. Five everyday things you've been doing wrong your entire life and nobody told you. Well, I'm about to tell you deep divers because I'm here to help you become your greatest version. What is number three? Okay, number three is this. A lot of people, they are eating and drinking at the same time. They are eating and drinking at the same time. That was me along my early journey. I would be eating and drinking at the same time, deep divers, but I was doing it wrong. Look, you're watching me right now, deep divers, and guess what? You're eating and drinking at the same time. You're doing it wrong. How do we do it right? You have to learn from nature. No other species eats and drinks at the same time for a reason. In your body, you have something called hydrochloric acid. In your body, you have something called hydrochloric acid. This breaks down your food and you need it to be very strong. It is so powerful, it can dissolve a nail. Look, what happens when you eat and drink at the same time? You now actually dilute the hydrochloric acid, making it harder to digest the food. That's why a lot of people have a lot of digestive problems. So how you do it right is not eat and drink at the same time. When drinking, just drink. When eating, just eat. And now you can have that beautiful digestion. Okay, so that's what I've been doing, deep divers, and my health has improved. When I'm drinking, I just drink. When I'm eating, I just eat, okay? <laughs> deep divers, how are you feeling today? Okay, five everyday things you've been doing wrong your entire life and nobody told you. Nobody told you, nobody told you, okay? Well, I'm here to tell you because I'm here to help you become your greatest version. Now, what if I told you you've been going to work every single day, the nine to five, right? And that's all wrong, huh? Yeah, it's all wrong. There's another way to do it, deep divers. I found that way out. And that's why I'm in the heart of nature, doing a little Samba baby, looking 19. Woo! Breathing in that good ass prana baby. Well, let me explain. You see, majority of the population goes to work, right? Nine to five or nine to six, nine to seven, whatever, okay? But you see, listen, nine to five is the time when you have a lot of energy, especially two o'clock. So a lot of people, they end up in the rat race. I wrote down this many years ago. Don't use all of your time and energy 
to go to a job only to come home to have no time or energy for the life you're working for. Mm. What? Slow motion this side. Mm. Say it again, Ralph. It's starting to feel like that old Infinite Waters again. I said, don't use all of your time and energy to go to a job, to come home, to come home to have no time or energy for the life you're working for. And that's the reason why instead of the nine to five, I have what I call the five to nine. Mm. What? Slow motion this side. Mm. And this has helped me become my greatest version. So you've heard that super successful people, they wake up at four o'clock. Have you heard that deep divers? They wake up at four o'clock. And they do that for a reason, because you see, that's when your brainwave state is at the alpha, but that's a powerful time to create. And that's what I've been doing. I wake up super early, start creating, and it's beautiful. So I have a five to nine, not a nine to five. I've got a five to nine. And when you start working from five to nine, you got the rest of the day to do a little samba, baby. Raise the frequency. I remember deep divers working in the matrix like 12 hour days. I would wake up, go to work, come back. It was already dark. And I realized, oh my gosh, in humanity, so many people are frustrated, unhappy with the life they're living because they don't have any time during the day to do what they love to do. Like the great Krishnamurti said, it's no measure of health to be well adjusted to a profoundly sick society. You've got to get smart and to realize that actually nine to five is the time where you really want to be doing what you love to do. And five to nine is when you want to be working. <laughs> but like I say, like I said, ultimately, the message is don't use your time and energy to go to a job only to come home to have no time and energy for the life you're working for. If you have a job just over broke, you've been doing it wrong. The secret is to get a job, pardon? Job, pardon? Job, joy over boredom. Oh my gosh. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. I've got a job, deep divers. Joy over boredom. I, I love what I'm doing. I'm never ever bored. I meet some people who say, Ralph, I'm going to work. I hate it. I'm like, why are you going? They're like, I don't know. You're doing it wrong. You're supposed to be loving your work, loving your job. I love my job, deep divers. You know why? Because it's joy over boredom. Deep divers, five everyday things you've been doing wrong your entire life and nobody told you. Well, I'm here to tell you, deep divers, become your greatest version. Putting the lights on at night. Huh? Ralph, we're supposed to put the lights on at night. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? That's why we got light bulbs, Ralph. Hold on, hold on, deep divers. <laughs> so in 1879, Thomas Edison created this incandescent light bulb that actually burnt for 14.5 hours. He was so happy. It was a great discovery, right? Well, actually, Nikola Tesla did that, but never mind. Look, <laughs> they credit Edison doing that, right? Inventing the, the light bulb. So in 1919, 6% of the population had this new technology of the light bulb. Fantastic, right? Okay, so by 1930, two thirds of the population had the light bulb, which was fantastic, and then it just grew from there. So now everyone has a light bulb, right? So when you come home after daytime, what do most people do? They put the light on. But what if I told you, you've been doing it wrong, deep divers? You see, let me explain. There's a book called Lights Out and it goes into it even more. You see, when you turn on the light at night, it tricks your body into thinking it's daytime again. That's the reason why you get hungry. You need to eat a big meal. Now you get so bloated and full and all of these things happen. But also it produces a lot of stress for the body because now it's thinking that it's daytime. So it reactivates the body to start the day again. And that's why so many people are drained, depleted of energy. So what are we supposed to do, Ralph? Well, let me explain. What I love to do is when it gets dark outside, I go back inside and I have minimal light, okay? Light a candle. Don't burn the house down. Light a candle, okay? Candles are fantastic. That's what our ancestors used to do. It's natural. Light a candle. But all of these artificial lights at night, produce a lot of stress for the body. 
but also it tricks the body into thinking it's daytime again and now you want to eat more you got a lot of energy but that's the time when you're supposed to be winding down deep divers you're supposed to be winding down putting your feet up relaxing oh yeah so i've realized that actually all of these lights, that's the reason why myopia is on the rise. You're not supposed to be bombarding yourself with all of these artificial lights. There's natural sunlight over there. That's the beautiful sun. It's so bright out here, deep divers. Look, your mobile phone, like as soon as you go to bed, like before you go to bed, um, you got to wear some glasses because you see, all of these electrical appliances, computers, mobile phones, they actually emit something called blue light. And you want to remind yourself that you want to have blue light glasses to stop the blue light okay and this is going to promote better health for you because we're not supposed to be in front of all of these artificial lights because it's going to deplete your energy and ruin your health so always remind yourself to do it right less artificial lights is better for the body candles but also pure darkness right do like the birds do when it's dark they don't put lights on they just go to bed deep divers oh uh, duh <laughs> deep divers i want everybody to smash that like button right now and share this video because we learned a lot right become your greatest version hit that like button right now and share this video because somebody out there needs to see this and that's why i'm just saying and that's why i'm just saying and that's why i'm just saying Feels so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello? Hey, we're having fun every single day, deep divers. That's what we're here to do. Let's breathe. That was refreshing. Let's go, deep divers. Woo! Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. <laughs> go and check out the number one best selling book. Feel Alive by Ralph Smart on Amazon and at ralphsmart.com slash the book, the Bible of becoming your greatest version. Also, go and get the latest book by Ralph Smart, The Secret Recipe to Becoming Your Greatest Version. The book of 1111 infinite quotes at ralphsmart.com slash the book. Calling all men, women and children. Go and get the good ass prana shirts right now. All new limited design shirts at ralphsmart.com slash clothes and spreadshirt.com if you're in America. And if you're a sexy ass model, woo, with a whole lot of heart who's doing it right now, you want to model the clothing? Well, go and buy some. We're doing the fashion show in Miami. If you feel you have what it takes to be an Infinite Waters model, DM me on Instagram at official Ralph Smart. Deep divers. So we've just gone through everyday things we've been doing wrong. Sitting on the toilet. Um drinking tap water and bottled water instead of realizing that we're supposed to be drinking water from the source. Kangen, Kangen water is extremely healthy. So we've gone through that. And I want you to remind yourself, there are still so many things we've been doing wrong and we can do right. So life is all about realizing, okay, it's okay to do it wrong, but now you know how to do it right. Let's make the changes so we can all become our greatest version. Deep divers, I love all of you right one love to all of you peace infinite waters diving deep once again stay well stay healthy peace you once again deep divers smash that like button share this video subscribe leave a comment down below of gratitude and appreciation and let me know how this video inspired you to stop doing things wrong and start doing it right deep divers one love peace